previously on Balls. Live from Mr. Price Kings Park. It is Balls Visual Radio live from uh, Mr. Price Kings Park. We've uh, been here all day today. A lot of fun outside on the deck. Some of the uh, Sharks guys just finished up the practice. And a big thank you to uh, John Plumtree, who um, cut the practice short for us today. Yeah, I've always looked after you, Darren. Have I? I've been always good to you. <laughs> Absolutely. We really appreciate that, as well as Simon tries to reassemble our prizes, police glasses, shark sign balls, police watches as well. Tweets. Remember, hashtag Mr. Price Sports, and a lot of tweets coming through. We'll check on those and maybe give one away in the next half hour or so, one or two of our prizes. Nicole's keeping an eye on that. Uh, so, yeah, welcome to the world of visual radio. I know. It's amazing, isn't it? Uh, Darren, you've got an amazing setup here. Uh, you know, um, it's fantastic to have you guys here. And, uh, you know, the players are all buzzing and looking forward to having a chat to you. We're looking forward to chatting to some of them uh, that have already arrived up here in the Jock Line room. And uh, Plum's smiling. Uh, we spoke to your mate a couple of weeks ago. And uh, what was that noise, Simon? Sorry, that was me getting mail. That's just... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I hope you don't mind that we're not disturbing your, your business hours. No, it's cool. I'm, uh, You're I'm right. good. Yeah, I'll okay, switch it back off now. On. No, we're good. Uh, I chatted your mate uh, John Mitchell the other day, and I think he's finally sort of got to a point where he's, uh, that's enough now about the whole uh, you know, relegation and teams getting out of the uh, competition. But it's, I mean, just from an independent point of view, but obviously being a friend of John's as well, it's got to be really frustrating trying to motivate a side when you know that you're probably not going to be around next year to play in the competition. Oh, yeah, no, it must be terribly hard for them. I mean, uh, you know, it's hard enough uh, trying to win this competition when you're, when you're full strength. You know, they've been sort of absolutely raked with injuries and, uh, and they found it really hard, you know, with, without having senior players in there. And they've had to lose, uh, sorry, use a lot of players this year. And, you know, and they have the, you know, the whole thing, whether they're going to actually existing next year, has made it doubly hard for them. So it must be um, ter uh, terribly frustrating for them. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, you know, John is the kind of guy that will stick around for, for that. Or, I mean, he's still got time left in his contract, and he said, you know, he's got a contract here. But you kind of almost hear that, you know, it's, it's, it's not a happy scenario to, to suddenly be stuck where you've got no choice. It's out of your hands. Yeah, no, that's right. It's not just him. It's his uh, assistant coaches as well and all the players that are contracted as well. So, you know, you know they've all got, um, you know, mortgages and, you know, and, 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 you know, we've all got things to pay for. So, uh I just hope it gets all sorted out so they can get some clarity and so they can all move forward in some direction. Well, uh, when we saw you, a very, a very happy, very smiling. Um, uh, what mission almost accomplished uh, as far as obviously getting into the uh, the top six. Even a chance now, Plum, that you can uh, maybe finish in that top spot. Obviously, it's out of your hands at this stage. You've got to depend on what happens at the uh, at the ball ring this weekend. But your game against the Lions, you guys will probably start favourites based on their performances. But is, is it the last part of the puzzle for you, or is that Bulls game coming up here um, in four weeks after your, uh, your previous game? Uh, is that one in your mind as well? Well, I think when we got back from tour, we knew we sort of had five games, uh, sorry, six games in, in a couple of ways, and we sort of thought that if we get five, it would be great, and we're on track. You know, we lost to the Chiefs, which is a little bit disappointing in the first game back. But then since then, we've won four games and, you know, you know a difficult fixture in, in Bloemfontein for us but, that we've got. And obviously, we're in a big one down here last week. So uh, this, get, this game here before we break in June is really important to us. And uh, we know that, you know, our attitude has to be exactly right in the weekend because, uh, you know, we've, we have, we've had a couple of, you know, poor performances in uh, Coca-Cola Park. And, um, you know, we've just got to make sure that we go up there and we... You know, attitude's right, and we, um, we we respect the Lions because they've given us problems before. But uh, we've just got to, you know, you know, the boys are nice and confident, and uh, they've just got to get out there and really enjoy themselves and get stuck into it for each other. Your um, the, the, this whole break for the England series, and then four weeks away. What what are your thoughts on it as a coach? Surely that's got to be a little irritating that you've almost got to have a preseason again before you get back into a competition that's almost at its end. Yeah, I know. It's uh, it's all new territory for all of us. Um, you know, I think um, it's keeping the guys that, obviously the boys that are going to be playing for the box are going to be busy and, and then it's going to be, you know, obviously they're going to they transition back to provincial rugby uh, or super rugby, um, sorry, is, is, is going to, you know, obviously be tough for them. But, you know, that we, the nice thing for the Sharks, we get a week off so those guys can go and refresh after the third test. And uh, for the other guys, you know, we've got Barney's game down here, which is going to be great for all of our spectators, uh, all the supporters, all Barney's friends and family and that to come down here and watch them play the final game here at, the, at Kings Park. And, uh, and that's nice. And we'll get the rest of the boys playing a little bit of club rugby and, 
um, just use it like that. And the, obviously, players that are carrying injuries will, uh, you know, will get an opportunity to rehab them. But um, you know, this is just a changing world of professional rugby, isn't it? You know, the inbound tests are great, aren't they? Because tours are great. And, you know, England are coming over here for three tests, and it'll be a different buzz for everyone, and a little bit of a break for Super Rugby. And I guess that's just the way the future of the competition is going to go. The game, by the way, you're talking about, and that's probably your sort of preseason game before you get back into Super Rugby again. Uh, is the 22nd of June here at Mr. Price Kings Park, 7 o'clock kickoff. Barney looking uh, looking quite mean in his camos there uh, with the face-to-face with Keegan Daniel. So you're basically putting in a, your best possible available Sharks team against uh, against the side. Yeah, no, we have to because uh, Barney's got a, a good side together and, um, you know, he'll be pretty fired up as well. He'll, he'll want to remember uh, his last game at the stadium being uh, a victorious one. So uh, we know how tough it's going to be and it's going to be good for us too because it's going to be nice and tough. So... I'm sure they'll have, probably have a few more beers than us during the week, so we might get them in the last 10 or 20. <laughs> I'm, sure I'm sure there will a lot of functions coming up as well, and we'll let you know here at Balls Visual Radio as well exactly what is, uh, what's going on with that. You, you've been, I mean, you're, uh, you've probably been in Durban almost as long as you've lived in, uh, in New Zealand, and, and you're a Wellington boy, right? So living over there. Uh, the, you've lived in Durban from being a player and also from a coaching point of view now. Yeah, look, I was here for eight years as a player through uh, through the 90s, and uh, that was fantastic. And then uh, left to go and start a coaching career in the UK, and and um, you know coaching in Wellington as well before Dickie brought me back. Um, you know, I've just loved it here. You know, I've been six years as a coach now. Time goes so so fast when you're having fun, and I just love the I love the players and the team. I've had the benefit of working with uh, lots of fantastic guys, you know, from uh, you know Percy Montgomery and Butch James and to the group that I've got now with Keegan and Bismarck and that's so I've been around a long time and and I guess for a, for a foreigner that's uh, you know it's, it's great you know and, and um, you know I just this is my home away from home and uh, you know I've married a South African girl it's actually my 18th wedding year anniversary that <laughs> Of applause from the studio from Nicole and I actually. I mean, what year did you guys get married? Because I remember meeting it's Laura, right? My Laura and, and yourself meeting you guys in 1991. Uh, were you married already then? No, no, we got married in '94. Uh, sorry, jeepers, that's a lie. 96. <laughs> <laughs> well, 18 years from now, what was it? You know, I got in trouble for not remembering it this morning, but neither did she. We only sort of clicked a little bit later on. It's our wedding anniversary, so. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to stop and get some nice flowers and a bottle of wine and hopefully get the kids to bed early, Darren. All right, there we go. Well, happy anniversary. Uh, John didn't realize. Uh, Johnny has a question, uh, Simon. Johnny, do you want to relay it? Because Plum hasn't got a uh, set of headphones on. Oh, thanks. Uh, You know, having Franz Stein back, uh, Darren, joining them officially from the the 1st of July. So it does mean he'll be eligible to play uh, the two Super Rugby games against the Bulls and Cheetahs before the playoffs start. Big big, big, uh, trump card for you guys. I'm going to talk about that. It's Mm. It's not on air. You what? You're not huh? allowed to talk about it. Didn't you get the brief. Then you get the brief. Not allowed to talk about front stain. It's, it's not public knowledge yet. Is it embargo, Darren? Embargo, oh, oh, John. Oh, uh, not Darren, another one. It's embarrassing. Um, just oh, explain. talking crap. Don't worry. John's hyperventilating. <laughs> no, it can't be. Telling me something very interesting about uh, the fact he can't play super rugby because of regulations. Yeah, he's he'll need dispensation uh, from Senza to be able to play because he wasn't registered at the start of the competition. Uh, because at that stage we still hadn't signed him. Uh, so, but if we pick up injuries and he's now a Sharks contracted player, we could use him. So there we go. So at the moment, there are a couple of the guys uh, kicking the crap out of some of the centres. <laughs> I'm joking, um, but yeah, that's interesting. I didn't realise they had that rule where if you do have injuries and you do need the guys, um, you can play him. Simon, very quick one because I see uh, we've got some of the players queuing up here. Oh, okay. All right, I just ask Plum. Um, having Why don't you ask him as Plum? Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, Plum, nice to see you. Yeah, huge fan of your work. And uh, obviously, uh, Do you know this guy I wouldn't have, rips you off every I week. wouldn't have forgotten the 18th wedding anniversary. Not such a special <laughs> one, no. This Plum wouldn't have forgotten it. Okay, can I ask it as myself? Yes, no? as yourself. Well, Plum kicks me. He kicks my ass <laughs> with a Z. Um, <laughs> uh, you've, have you had a look at the, at the box? It's a two-part question. The... A, do you like the look of the, the Springbok squad for the test against England? I know it's a 42-man squad. And as a coach, um, what would, how would you approach this new era of, of Springbok rugby? I know you're not the Springbok coach and Haneke's got quite a difficult job. But, yeah. you know, what, how would, what do you think he has to do? What's the right thing to do? Uh, well, I think for the, you know, the first, you know, first games, he'll, he'll just want to get the wins. 
you know, get off to a good start. So I'd say with selection, he'll be quite, probably quite conservative. Um, but, you know, I'm really hoping that uh, we see some guys that have been playing super rugby, some great, you know, some great performances from certain players and, this, you know, consistent performances from certain players in the super rugby up to, to date, that uh, that he does pick some guy, new guys. We do see some new blood in this team. I think, uh, I think that would be fantastic. And, of course, uh, one of those that are in the squad, uh, and I think they've selected the squad pretty much on that basis because we've seen some new players like Marcel Kutsia in well-deserved uh, and you'll be able to move about some of the performances of these guys that, have, that, that you've brought through. Oh, yeah, Marcel's been consistent. I think you know, I can't talk high enough about him, but also Keegan Daniels. You know, Keegan's been in fantastic form for us the whole year when we haven't, when the pack hasn't been exactly great form, you know, and it's good to see Willem coming back in some form, Bismarck, Yanni, all good now, and, uh, and obviously with Beastie coming back from his injury. So from a, our pack is uh, starting to function nicely, and uh, I guess Heine could be pleased about that. It gives him a couple more options. All right, well, we'll get some predictions from some of the guys when they uh, do come, so you not forgetting about your predictions. No, no. Plum, thank you very much for being with us. Yeah, Thanks good for on accommodating you, us here as well. If you want to crack him in time, just help yeah, yourself. don't hurt me. Don't hurt little <laughs> Stop Plum. it now. All right, leave, leave me <laughs> uh, And uh, good luck for the rest of the big one. And then, of course, uh, I think the Bulls will be a sellout here when you guys do come back, but it's four weeks after the fact. And, of course, you get four points there for doing nothing in the week in between. So thanks for chatting to us. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thanks. John Plumtree joining us here at Balls Visual Radio this afternoon. <laughs> Balls.co.za. Balls.co.za. Balls.co.za.